wins the tip. Here's the starting lineup for the Tigers. Kendrick Davis, as I mentioned, Alo back in the starting lineup. And Elijah McCadden will get his second straight start to go along with the front liners, DeAndre Williams and Chandler Lawson, head coach Anthony Penny Hardaway in his fifth season at Memphis. Well, Max and Harris will guard one another initially. Lomax loses the rock, stolen by USF. Conwell takes it to the hole, misses, but the follow by Chaplin, and it's 2-0 South Florida. The Bulls starting lineup, as I mentioned. Chandler Lawson, nice uh, transition basket for Memphis. Tigers will move down the court quickly, and there's transition bucket number one. As I mentioned, Jameer Chaplin along with Ryan Conwell, Tyler Harris, Sam Hines Jr., and Ruffin. Hardaway. Jaden Hardaway will not play tonight. Everybody else expected to see action other than Malcolm Dandridge, who is extended with that high ankle sprain. DeAndre Williams will tip it up with Russell Chiwa, and Memphis wins the tip. Here's the starting lineup for the Tigers. Kendrick Davis, as I mentioned, Alo back in the starting lineup. And Elijah McCadden will get his second straight start to go along with the front liners, DeAndre Williams and Chandler Lawson, head coach Anthony Penny Hardaway in his fifth season at Memphis. Well, Max and Harris will guard one another initially. Lomax loses the rock, stolen by USF. Conwell takes it to the hole, misses, but the follow by Chaplin, and it's 2-0 South Florida. The Bulls starting lineup, as I mentioned. Chandler Lawson, nice uh, transition basket for Memphis. Tigers will move down the court quickly, and there's transition bucket number one. As I mentioned, Jameer Chaplin along with Ryan Conwell, Tyler Harris, Sam Hines Jr., and Russell Chiwa, the starting five for Brian Gregory in his sixth season with the Bulls, his 19th season overall, 320 wins. He's been to the NCAA tournament twice, but that was with Dayton, John. He's played, he's coached eight years at Dayton, five years at Georgia Tech, and now in year number six for South Florida. So it's been a long time since he got a team to the NCAA tournament. Memphis going to play their traditional man-to-man -man defensively. Open three off the mark by Chaplin. And on the loose ball, an offensive foul will go against the Bulls. Good look at Brian Gregory. As you mentioned uh, his biography, and I go back with Coach Gregory to a long time ago when he was at Michigan State, his assistant, did a game there with uh, Indiana, met him then. Uh, he's aged better than I have. <laughs> Prolific player uh, in his own right in Oakland during his college days. Davis the pull up and he has it for the Tigers and they go up four to two and he's been somewhat of a mini slump only seven of 23 from the field over his last two games but continues to lead the Tigers in scoring at 19.3 points per game and assists at 5.8 plus a pretty darn, darn good three-point shooter stolen by Memphis looking to run once again Lomax leaves it for McCadden the bucket in the bang and a quick start for the Tigers in this game, Memphis wants to apply defensive pressure and get into transition opportunities. That's two of them they've had already out of their six baskets. Four have come via the transition. And South Florida's got to handle the pressure. Nice job in transition. Good pass. McAdden gets the, the bump, the basket, and the and one. Nice job by Memphis after they forced the turnover in that break. So here's Elijah, as I mentioned, his second straight start. Knocks down the three-point play. The Rocky Mount product who transferred from Georgia Southern, averaging just under five a game. South Florida really worked today on keeping the ball in the middle of the floor, as, as Coach Gregory said, not getting it down in the alleys. That's the side where the natural traps will occur, particularly when Memphis applies its run and jump defense. Conwell, the freshman, no. Williams, the rebound. Memphis on a 7-0 run over the last minute. Tigers averaging 76.8 points per game. South Florida's giving up 66.3. The Tigers have scored over 80 their last five games. Lomax open for three. McCadden the offensive rebound. Second chance opportunity. Tried to force that pass to Lomax. Memphis gets it right back. Williams gets it knocked away by Harris. And then Lomax tried to save it. He tried to throw it off Ryan Conwell. Did it touch him? It must have glanced off him. No, they're going to no, say it's no, South didn't. Florida ball. Missed opportunities there for Memphis. They certainly had good numbers. Give South Florida credit. Didn't give up on it. Were able to get in the way just enough. And again, once again, they set their full court pressure, which they're going to do. You were talking to Brian Gregory about how they will try to attack the press by Memphis. Yeah, they'll have hard diagonal court. 
crosses and cuts, but they want to keep the ball in the middle of the floor to give them all options and not apply that natural uh, out-of-bounds line if they go down the alleys or the sides. Nice move by Hines. Good recognition that time. Seven and a half per game. Again, this is a team full of transfers. Came over from Denver University where he played for Chauncey Billups' brother at Denver. Williams trying to go strong and flush it. Overshot it, though, right into the hands of Elijah McCadden. Oh, nice move by Davis. Wow. Davis is fouled wow. by Harris. He tried to cut off the lane, and he jumped right into it. That'll be two shots. They call that in the act, and that's the first against Tyler Harris. Harris shooting 43% from three over the last nine games, 32 of 74 overall on the season, 37.1 from three. He's averaging 15 and a half, which leads Brian Gregory's team. And now Kendrick Davis at the free throw line. Makes the first one more for Davis. He has been lethal at the free throw line, particularly down the stretch. That's the one positive thing that he really does. All right, let's take a look at the keys to the game. We'll start with the home team. Well, obviously Memphis wants to really apply the pressure. They really want to get in the transition game. Conference play, they want to all get off to a fast start, not just tonight, but with the games they've got coming up. Turn of Tyler Harris. Normally when a guy comes home, it's either or. It's either really good or really tough. I think South Florida's got to have 25 or more for South Florida, and they must do a good job of taking care of the basketball. Selton Miguel, the 6'4 sophomore guard, a transfer from Kansas State, played two years for the Wildcats. He's checked into the game. Good inside delivery, and then Chandler Lawson will foul Russell Chiwa, who will go to the free throw line. But I mentioned uh, Miguel, he's coming up a 23-point performance in their last game against NJIT. Yeah, this is a this is a player in Chiwa who uh, Brian Gregory really feels is, is really starting to come into his own. Uh, not able to spend much time in, in Tampa th this summer. Uh, and he feels that he's one of the best on-ball defenders in terms of big guys in the conference. Out really of, high on him, talking about him with me today. Out of Cameroon, started his collegiate career at Texas Tech. Just a 55.6% free throw shooter, but he knocks down the first. Leads the team in rebounds, third in points per game. Such a bonus when your big guy can shoot free throws because they're going to get fouled quite a bit. If they can go to the line and you know, drop them. That's such a big bonus. Two good-looking free throws right there. Good start for South Florida. They're right in it. Not panicking at all. Good composure. Meantime, Memphis shooting 60% from the field. They've hit three of their first five, but Lawson gets it stripped by Chiwa. And the Bulls looking to push it. Hines overshot it. And Williams with the rebound. And Benny Hardaway, pregame, we oh. talked to him. He emphasized the rebounding. Lawson gets behind the defense, and he'll score a second bucket. Transition again. You're right. Benny Hardaway talked it great. Like this two straight games he's talked about. Rebounding must improve. Memphis so far off to a 4-2 advantage rebounding-wise. That's Miguel. Got in trouble. Got in the air and didn't know where to throw it. But USF able to get the ball back. So far, Harris hasn't attempted a shot yet. Or one attempt. That's a three, and that's off the mark by Chaplin. Memphis up five, just under 16 to play here in the first school, first half. Lomax lines up the three. Both teams willing to play up-tempo. That doesn't bother either club. South Florida doing a very good job attacking Memphis, trying to get to the rim. Alo now 0 for 2 from 3. That's not his game, just 23% on the season. That's his game. Stepping into the passing lane, getting the steal, leaving it for Davis. Top of the key off the mark by Davis. And that'll take us to the first media timeout. Memphis, 4 of 8 from the field for 50%. Back and forth early on in this one. In the conference opener for the Tigers and Bulls, it's Memphis by 5. Good luck. Today's officials, Tony Green, Todd Austin, and Keith Kimball. That's a very good, experienced crew tonight here in Memphis. Get very impressed at South Florida attack. Kengo Kayo. enters the game and gets a block immediately. Chiwa had it down low. Williams tries to go the other way and off the backboard. No. Kennedy in the game gives it back to Williams, and he is Ouch. taken hard to the ground yeah, that, by Russell Chiwa. Yeah, that hurt. He bounced on the floor. That is the fourth team flat foul now against the Bulls as DeAndre Williams is up and appears to be okay. Both teams are challenging their opponents at the rim, not afraid to attack. Here comes Williams, and again, he bounced off the floor. 
Hard foul by Chua, but made sure there was no three-point opportunity. And if you're going to foul, that's exactly what you're expected to do. Well, to your point, Memphis already six points in the paint. South Florida has four. And Williams has his first point of the game. The Houston, Texas native, averaging 15.2 a game. So Keontae Kennedy, Demarie Franklin, and Keo Dorichi Akabundu Aioku in the game violation, for Memphis. Lane violation. I think they're going to get to reshoot it. Well, you hate to do that. That meaning somebody stepped in prior to the release of the ball, which you can't do. Everybody trying to make sure that nobody gets the jump on them to get to the offensive boards. Williams coming off a 25-point performance in the Tigers' last game, an 83-61 win against Alabama State on December 21st. So Memphis with its largest lead at 7, 13-6. Impressed in this game with South Florida's athleticism. Again, they're doing a good job challenging Memphis, not backing down at all inside. Chiwa has it stripped from behind by Davis. Yeah, put it on the floor. Never saw him. And Memphis gives it right back. Bucket in the bang there. Count that one for Sam Hines Jr., his second bucket of the game. And he'll get an opportunity for a three-point play. And, you know, Memphis will want to push it up and down the court, but so too do the Bulls. Yeah, South Florida, again, not backing down. Nice job by Sam Hines coming right in. Contact occurs. Good job. You saw him following that shot, make concentration. Going to get a chance for an and one. That'll be the first against Kendrick Davis, the second team foul for Memphis here in the first half. In the meantime, Elijah McCadden will check back in. He goes in for DeAndre Williams. Now, talking with Coach Gregory today, he was very, very happy and pleased with the, the, the way his team had played of late. He expected him to challenge, contend, and uh, he was ready to go. Again, he's had some success of late with his Bulls teams coming here to the FedEx Forum the last three years. Last game was last Thursday for USF. They beat New Jersey Institute of Technology 92-73. I mentioned in that game, Selton Miguel with a career-high 23. McCadden pulls up no. One and done for Memphis. Miguel on cue gets the rebound. For K.O., oh. oh, how about that runner off the window? Wow, that is a fantastic shot by Miguel. Nice job by Franklin. That's goaltending. Good job. Once again, Memphis pushing the ball at the floor. That time they were able to beat South Florida back before they could set up their defense, and that's not something that uh, South Florida wants to see uh, on a regular basis, Memphis being able to go the full length of the floor quickly. First points for Franklin, averaging 8.3 a game. His fourth game of the season. Memphis has won 12 in a row here, dating back to last season. Open three. And that one's off the mark by Miguel. Here's that rebounding that Penny talked about as K.O. climbs the ladder. Kennedy, spot Quick shot. shot. Quick Knocks shot, it, it goes. Keontae Kennedy returning for the Tigers after missing the last two games because he was in concussion protocol. Memphis, a seven-point margin. Chiwa blocked by K.O., but they're going to call a foul. They might get McCadden on this one. Chiwa's block looked clean, and it will go against McCadden. It is not for the faint of heart inside. Everything's being contested. Yeah, I think they're going to get McFadden on the, on the far side. He got a part, piece of him now. K.O., 14.7 blocks against Alabama State. That tied a career high in both categories. Memphis on the season, averaging 5.3 blocks per game. There's Coach Benny Hardaway, six wins away from 100 for his career. And Chiwa misses his first attempt. Alex Lomax will check back in for Memphis. In the meantime, Keyshawn Bryant, the 6'6 senior forward, who played four seasons at South Carolina and will play his final year here, obviously with USF, named after the former Tampa Bay wide receiver Keyshawn Johnson. How about that? One of two for Chiwa and Corey Walker Jr. Transfer from the University of Tennessee, started his career there. He checks in for Brian Gregory's team. Fun team to watch, South Florida. Very athletic, challenging. Again, they had a very brisk work through today. Was impressed with their effort and focus. Lomax, nice good Lomax. move. In the paint, first point for Alex Lomax. 
Missed the last game with a groin strain. Now, if you're USF, it, it's time to find a way to get your leading score some attempts if you can. Harris has not been involved in the offense at all to this point. Good move by Bryant, but off the mark. Saved. Good hustle by Kennedy. Lomax. Good feed to KO. Goes reverse. And he'll draw the foul from Walker and get a couple of free throws. Now that's a nice adjustment by KO. Ordinarily, he's just going to rely on his athleticism to try to out jump whoever's defending him. That time, I think he realized that uh, Walker had a, had a good angle on him. Was able to, to uh, use the rim to kind of offset and block a little bit out. Gets a foul for his troubles again. Walker comes in. Nice job by KO. Get a couple of free throws for his efforts. Sixth and seventh free throw shot by Memphis here in the first half. KO 33.3% from the line. Bricks the first. Averaging just under three, but again, coming off a really good performance. There's the brain trust for Brian Gregory with Larry Dixon, Lewis Rowe, and Jason Slay. Pick to finish ninth out of 11 teams by the coaches in the preseason poll. Houston picked first, Memphis second. So far, that looks to be holding true based on the preseason or the pre-conference schedule and results. Memphis continuing to play man-to-man -man defensively, trying to trap when they can, run and jump. They like that. And now Franklin's on Harris as Lomax switches. Walker, nope, and Alo gets the rebound. Guards are going to have to rebound for Memphis. Yep. Franklin from the wing. Kennedy kept three that alive. guys. Good yeah. job. Three Tigers hit the offensive glass. Good hustle effort that time by Memphis. Ko spins in the lane. The hook shot is short. And then did Franklin save it? Not sure, but what hustle from Memphis? The Tigers are limiting USF to just 29% from the field. They are struggling for a 14 field goal game, and it was way up there earlier in the season. So again, they've had some struggles in rebounding the basketball. That has been a big emphasis by Coach Hardaway and his staff. Chandler Lawson back in the game for Memphis. Nearly a throwaway on the inbounds. Three on the shot clock. Lawson has to recognize. I don't think he beat the shot clock anyway. Well, maybe he did. They say it's out of bounds off of. It's just got to release. Yeah. That's all it's got to do. I still thought it uh, had gone off before he released. Chaplin, though, knocks it out of bounds. So Memphis gets another opportunity. 20 on the shot clock. 11.42 to play here before halftime. Oh, Williams. nice inbounds pass. Wow. Oh, block. Big wow. time block there by Keyshawn Bryant. <laughs> he climbed the ladder. Wow. I think uh, DeAndre Williams was surprised to see him up there. Bulls two and a half blocks per game. They got good athleticism. They really do. Like their attitude, like uh, the way they attack. They are backing down from nobody. The nice lefty. Bucket. That's Bryant. He gets the block on one end. He comes back with the three, and it's 21 15. First triple for the Bulls or one of four. Lawson. Nice. nice. Go count it. Win it anyway. Yep. Nice play that time by Memphis. Lawson's got down low for three buckets, has six points. Chandler averaging 5.8, so right at his average. Well, you know, that's something we talk with Penny Hardaway. Obviously, they, the, the team understands that Kendrick Davis and DeAndre Williams are their options one and two, but they're also very unselfish players. So that's infectious. Whoever's open gets a good look and gets the pass. Tyler Harris, just one field goal attempt so far. Memphis has smothered him defensively. Sorrell Smith Jr., the senior guard, has a checked team. in for USF. And there's a foul. Good pass out of the double team. And that's Smith right off the bench. He'll go to the free throw line. If you're able, when the double team comes and you don't pick up your dribble, that's when somebody has to be open. If you can keep your cool and composure. Now, that was a long, that was a high-risk pass. But give uh, Tyler Harris credit. He found the open player. Sorrell Smith comes inside, picks up the foul. But again, what Memphis wants you to do is panic as that double team comes and pick the ball up. Then you smother them. And then normally it's the, it's the closest person you can pass to where they've already got somebody that's overplaying to that outlet pass. Second personal against Chandler Lawson. Fourth Tiger team foul here in the first half. Smith 71% from the charity strike makes the first. As a team, USF just 
And that's despite Tyler Harris at 76.5%. They have a couple of guys who really struggle at the charity strike. Smith started his career at East Tennessee State. Actually, I believe he started at Maryland and then transferred to East Tennessee State. Kennedy lost the rock. Right to Williams. Nice. Johnny on the spot for Good DeAndre. Job. Good job by Williams. He gathered himself, waited till the, the opponent left his feet. An easy basket. Again, Memphis just doing a great job on Tyler Harris, not allowing him any easy looks because if he gets going, he can light it up in a hurry. Harris down Main Street and that went an easy shot. The back of the iron. No, that was contested. Two Tigers right there defensively. Jonathan Lawson has checked into the game, and I think that's the third straight game he has done that. He has stepped on the yeah. sideline, just being unaware. But Jonathan Lawson has been a nice addition to this Tigers team. Redshirted last year. He is shooting the rock from the outside extremely well. He's 57.9% from three, and we talked to Coach about the three-point shooting. They, they obviously don't have a lot of it. Well, I like Jonathan's approach. When you ask him, he says, I always have to be ready when my number's called. Too many times players aren't ready when you come off the bench, and then uh, they miss their chance. Uh, he's ready and uh, has made the most of it when he's been in here. Smith, good-looking stroke from Sorrell Smith. Shoots it well, nearly 42% from three. That makes it a five-point game. Lawson, the drive. Left it short. And now a 4-1-0 break. Bryant with a big-time thunder. That is a tomahawk and a half right there from Bryant. Wow. His father's favorite player, Kobe Bryant. Okay, not bad. <laughs> of course, all-time a Hall of Famer. All-time all great. This is a fun game. Maybe not for the coach, Tyler Harris, with the travel. But this is a fun game going back and forth. South Florida's got some athletes, and they are not afraid to challenge, and they are contesting. Keyshawn Bryant, who wears number 23, we'll see that dunk. He wears 23 for the Bulls, but he wore 24 in high school. That was one of Kobe's two numbers that he used in the NBA. So his father, a big, big fan of Kobe Bryant, and obviously right there, I'm not going to say he looked like Kobe Bryant, but that was a big-time dunk. Another 23 used to be able to put some big-time dunks uh, in games like that. Mr. Jordan. <laughs> Of course, his name being Bryant. I understand. I understand. Nope. Davis. Nice. Boy, cutting Jonathan Lawson. Good Once assist again. from Kendrick Davis. Good half-court execution by Memphis. They've done that a couple times now. Not just settling for the perimeter shot. But Memphis is going to have to do a better job getting back and, and stopping these straight-line drives. South Florida's done a good job of breaking down the first uh, defender and getting right to the basket or in transition getting good looks. Conwell. Right into the hands of Bryant. Fall away. Swish. Keyshawn Bryant. Seven off the bench for Brian Gregory's team, and it's a five-point game again. Give South Florida credit. They're just uh, hanging around, taking everything Memphis can dish out. They're not, uh, not uptight about it. This is exactly what you want to see in your conference opener. Playing very well on the road. Again, they've had some success here. Confident, comfortable. And Memphis is playing well. Memphis is not playing poorly. Lomax, he's two for two in the paint with that little fall away turnaround. He's 0 for two from three. Four points for the fifth year guard. Chiwa looked like he shuffled his feet. He did it again. And they get him the second time. No, they're going to call a lane violation. Yeah, lane violation, three seconds. But, boy, he shoveled his feet two different times. Could have easily been called. Well, DeAndre Williams actually blew out of his sneaker. That's why That was why he was trying to put it back on before he got back in the fray. I assume they're Nikes. Speaking of that, John Moran of the Memphis Grizzlies, his new sneaker came out just, uh, I guess, a few days ago in uh, one of the uh, games the Grizzlies just played. And Penny Hardaway had some comments about that. He said of John Morant's new signature sh shoe from Nike. Of course, the Nike company got to be kind to them. That's his company. It's a nice, sleek shoe. It fits his style. Penny Hardaway knows something about the uh, signature shoes. Had a very successful, still has a successful brand after his name. Exactly. Keep it in the Nike family. Miguel pulls up over wow. Deo. And all of a sudden, USF is starting to heat up shooting-wise. They're now at 43%. They were down near 22% early in the game. 
They have hit four of their last five shots, but Memphis has hit five of their last seven and still shooting 50% from the field. South Park really trying to keep Memphis out of the paint area. That's where they've done so much damage. Dangerous Aaron pass. pass. Yeah, that's a tough baseline pass. Oh, nice feed. Smith, that's goaltending. Conwell with a nice no-look feed. And Sorrell Smith has seven off the bench. So between Bryant and Smith coming off the pine for Brian Gregory, they have scored 14 points between them. USF, three of their last three shots. Miguel off the bench for two, and it's a three-point game. The wants and needs of Tyler Harris, and it really didn't fit in with the philosophy of Penny going into this season. Penny said he's still a big fan of Tyler. Says, uh, you know, shoot the ball as well as he does when he gets. He just said, hey, this was best for both of us to go separate ways. It's worked out well for him, and obviously uh, worked out well for Memphis at this point. It really has. Tyler was made a shooting guard at Memphis with Alex Lomax running the point, although they were interchangeable. But now he's getting the shot to run the show for the Bulls. Three on the shot now, and McCadden travels. Outstanding half-court defense of Florida. They kind of cut any kind of dribble drive. He throws has four points. Memphis turns it over under 14 a game, and they're already halfway there. Seventh turnover for Memphis. Both teams really extending and applying a lot of defensive pressure via the man-to-man. -man. Getting in traps and forcing teams away from where they want to set up. Inside the arc, boy, they've gotten red hot. That's Conwell, the Indianapolis, Indiana product. Just a freshman, but in the starting lineup for Brian Gregory's team. And now the fans realize they need to get into it and hype this team up. Memphis is in for a battle tonight here at home. 6-0 run for the Bulls. They pulled it within one. Davis in traffic, no. Right into the hands of McCadden. Well, K.O. was open on the baseline. Didn't see him. Williams tries a little high-low with K.O. Franklin. Nice. And that was a great play by K.O. He tipped it out to Franklin, who had the baseline all to himself. 6-3, but he can, he can get up on the ladder. Nice play by Franklin. Wow. Conwell, not that time. Wow. Rejected by K.O. into the second row. Wow. That is some extension by KO, fortunately not hurt, coming down. That is the way to redirect a shot inside. <laughs> and KO will get a breather on the Tiger bench. Miguel over Davis. That was a three, and Williams gets the rebound. So DeAndre now with four rebounds, closing in on 500. Jump stop and off the window for Davis. Tough shot for Davis. I mean, again, he's well defended. You should see why he's uh, such a highly touted player. Big Smith basket. with a three. Well, this is some firepower off the bench between Selton Miguel, Sorrell Smith Jr., and Keyshawn Bryant. Oxygen and water are going to be at a premium at halftime. <laughs> <laughs> Both wow. teams have hit five of their last seven shots. Fun game to watch. Both teams really playing well right now. Williams defended very well by Chiwa. Good footwork, just like uh, his head coach talked about. Really on, on ball, very good defender. Lomax, a step back three. Wow. He had two open threes he missed earlier, and that one a tough one for Alo, and he drains it. Alo, 23% from three, and Lomax is seven. Smith again wow. from the other side. Wow. Sorrell Smith has 13 points. He averages three. Great pass by Williams to McCadden. Up and down we go here at FedEx Forum as we approach four to play in the first half. A couple of great sporting events last night. The, the Liberty Bowl right here in Memphis. Tremendous 55-53 triple overtime win by Arkansas. Great showing for Memphis last night. Now we've got a fantastic uh, conference opener here in the American Athletic Conference. Hines is fouled. The fans wanted to travel. So did DeMaurier Franklin. They don't get it. Each team now with five fouls. Just a slight correction because if Steve Earhart's listening, yes. the AutoZone, AutoZone Liberty Bowl. Liberty Bowl, my fault. There we go. My apologies. That's correct. 
It was fun. It was a great environment. Uh, enjoyed uh, being there last night. Yeah, what a game so far. The game of all the bowl games that we've had so far. The best. Give Kansas a lot of credit for battling back in. A tough way to go down, and Arkansas found a way to finish it off when they had to. Got a lane violation. So each team has had a lane violation. And another chance for Hines Jr. This has been fun. And again, uh, both teams really attacking, going up and down. High level of execution by both teams tonight. A lot of fun. Second chance opportunity. The Bulls have gotten no points from Tyler Harris, yet trail by two. And after the turnover, Hines commits the foul on Elijah McCann. So good hustle by the veteran for Memphis. 3.57 remaining before halftime. We got a good one here at FedEx Forum. It's Memphis by a deuce. Florida. They're averaging 75.6 points and 15.7 assists per game. Their six losses have been by only an average of 5.8 points per game. So they have been in every game this season. Davis dribbled it off his foot. And another turnover for Memphis. Yeah, one of the challenges that, that Brian Gregory said is, is when games when Tyler Harris's shots aren't falling or he's not getting enough of them, he's still got to be engaged because he's got to run our team. As a point guard, he's also got to be engaged and get the ball and distribute it. So he can't just, uh, you know, shut down if he's not scoring. And that's a big challenge because he's been used to the score, particularly in spot moments for Memphis the last couple of years. Eight turnovers now for the Tigers, seven for the Bulls. Brian, oh, he tried to levitate. I mean, he tried to hang in the air, basically, and then dunk over Williams. He did levitate. <laughs> oh, my gosh. That is, well, this, this is incredible. Watch him go up. Actually lost the ball going up. Then DeAndre got a piece of it and it bounces right off of Bryant. 6-5, but boy, can he climb the ladder. Four blocks now for Memphis. Williams. Good, rec with good recognition. Actually, there's a foul inside. They recognized that they had Tyler Harris in there. McCadden had a height advantage. 6-5 against 5-9. And good job by DeAndre Williams recognizing that. And the foul occurs. So that'll be the seventh against South Florida. It'll put the Tigers in the bonus. They'll shoot one and one. Good recognition. Again, you got 6-5 on 5-9. Gad not able to corral it initially. But able to good position and good recognition again by DeAndre Williams. We talked about that again. Penny Hardaway. Two key guys, Davis and, and Williams, who are their key scorers. They're willing to pass it if they're not open. Very willing to do that. It's a very rare combination when scorers are also very comfortable distributing the ball. Brian Gregory's got to be pleased, not with that play particularly, but uh, <laughs> but he's got to be pleased with his team's effort. Only two down with less than three minutes to go in the first half. They played well. Harris is going to launch. Offensive rebound, put back by Chaplin. How did that not go in? Harris gets it back. A lot of contact, throws it up. No, he was trying to draw a foul, and he's frustrated there. Yep. Two on one for the Tigers. Williams will lay it in after the Euro step. Yeah, Harris forced it. He is frustrated. Understandable. Just can't get a, a, a basket to go. Really didn't have many good looks, and he's forced a couple. Yeah, he's 0 for 4 from the Oh, field. wow. That's an elbow. That's clearly on Harris. That's frustration. Yep. He popped him up top. Yeah, Tyler was frustrated out. from the last possession for USF before that one when he thought he got fouled going in the lane. And Brian Gregory's trying to argue that point. Cleared out. Fisher's going to talk about it. They're probably going to go look at this one. Yeah, they're going to look at it on them. No, they're not. Okay, just, just a foul. Certainly looked from our vantage point like he hit him high. Not, not intentional. Just clearing it out. Harris with his second personal. That's 18 now against USF. Memphis with just the five. That wow. was knocked away. Out of Williams' hand, and then a foul committed by Williams. DeAndre, a veteran player, but we've seen that often when, when DeAndre has a shot blocked or a missed shot, and yep. then he'll reach and do some things. But he's gotten better over the last couple of games because well, he's found out three straight games. Well, particularly with Malcolm Dandridge not available for Penny Hardaway, who, who really is the solid physical guy inside, Williams has got to be on the floor. Yeah, I talked to Malco before the game. He's out of the boot, but still got protection on that foot. He's got that sprained ankle. Chihuahua missed point-blank range. They wrestled for the loose ball. They're going to call jump ball, and USF is going to retain possession. But Malco said it's, you know, it's still a while. 
but I'm feeling better. Again, he's got to get in the shape, back in the playing shape once he gets the green light from the doctor, but they can certainly use that inside presence of Malco, that physicality that he brings to the game. And Jaden Hardaway not available as well with a little bit of a hip. Wow. They missed Bryant open underneath. Tigers had a nine-point lead in this game. It's now four. Let's travel. I got away with that. Six on the shot clock. Bryant, that was another possible travel. Looked like he picked up his <laughs> pivot foot. I should say Chaplin with the bucket there. Chaplin now has four. Minute and a half to go. A lot of contact. Another Memphis turnover. Chance to tie for the Bulls. Oh, wow. Bryant was going up there to throw down the hammer, and he's fouled. Lomax got it from the backside. Otherwise, that was going to be another highlight reel. So Lomax commits his first. And Bryant will go to the free throw line with a chance to tie this game up. Again, this is a veteran player. Four seasons at South Carolina. Coming to USF, coming off the bench for Brian Gregory's team, averaging eight a game. 61% from the charity strike. USF has actually been to the free throw line two more times than Memphis. Bryant makes it a one-point game. When Memphis has been patient and, and, and South Florida extending that defense, they've been able to get some back cutters for easy baskets in their half-court set when they've been patient to do that. John Memphis shooting 57% from the field, and they're up one. Kennedy inside over Chiwa. Yeah, take Kennedy seven points. That wasn't easy, but again, that's that's the opportunity that they're going to get. That time defense was back there. Just a nice adjustment by Kennedy. But uh, South Florida is making a point not to allow Memphis to get to the paint via the dribble. Step back three. Smith, his fourth here in the first half, and we are tied at 44. Five for 11 from three-point range for South Florida. That has really been the big story, that and the bench points. And then a bad foul there by Smith as he reaches in, and that'll send Davis to the free throw line. That's their 19th foul, so it's one and one. But when you put Davis on the line, you're asking for trouble. He shoots 89.5% from the free throw line. Davis ranks second in the nation in free throws made, coming into the game with 77, just four behind the nation's leader three-time player of the week in the conference already and did that in a four-week span bounces in the first well he was player of the year last year so i mean you you you, you expect shocking right yeah you expect uh, performances like that he is not disappointed here in the memphis uniform this year seven points five assists for kendrick davis make it eight points at an eight second differential between the shot clock and the game clock and Memphis will put some pressure on. You really get a good sense of the intensity now the conference play is underway tonight. Both teams really challenging, aggressive. Good defense by Kennedy. Do a good job moving your feet. Chaplin got bumped and wow. still laid it in. That ties the game up again. Chaplin with a good job never picking up his dribble. Never kept it, uh, you know, kept it alive the whole way. Memphis will milk for what they hope is a final shot. And hopefully a make. Davis just inside half court, under 10 to go. Davis trying to go to Lomax. It's tipped out of bounds off of Sorrell Smith. So Memphis will have it 2.7 seconds to go. Lomax will make the inbounds pass. and Got time. Kenny Hardaway is going to call a 30-second yeah. timeout. Good, good move. So he'll draw up a play here. USF. Now up to 47% from the field, but they've hit 5 of 11 threes. Ethan Lawson on the floor. Maybe they'll try to get Jonathan Lawson free here. He's their best three-point shooter. Nope, it's Kennedy. Step back. Williams, the rebound. No, that would not have counted if it went in. And we are tied at 46. What a way to start American Conference play. South Florida red hot winners of seven of their last eight five in a row coming into Memphis looking to pull off the upset of the Tigers as we are joined by head coach Anthony Penny Hardaway and coach you've done a great job on Tyler Harris their leading scorer their best three-point shooter but the guys have come off the bench and they're lighting it up 
Yeah, they're playing well right now. They're playing loose. We know they have nothing to lose. When comes He's gotten a lot of support from guys not named Tyler Harris. Well, if you're if you're Brian Gregory in South Florida, not the Memphis Tigers there, you have to be extremely pleased when your leading scorer doesn't score at all and you're right in this thing. So here we go. Tigers with the basketball to start the second half. In South Florida, really doing a good job of trying to deny Memphis getting in that paint. When Memphis was patient against that high perimeter defense, they were able to get some nice backdoor passes and some easy baskets with their half-court execution. Memphis averages nearly 77 points per game. They've gone 80 or more over the last five. Great feed from Chandler Lawson to Elijah McCadden. Yeah, exactly what we're talking about. Memphis patient that time offensively. They were rewarded with good execution and an easy basket at the rim. McCadden, 10 points, 8 rebounds. Last game against Alabama State has 7 points to his credit tonight. Conwell for 3, short. Can't allow rebounds. Second opportunity. Memphis gets a break. That time the ball goes right off Conwell. This is where your tough non-conference games, close games, will help you. Penny Hardaway played a very challenging non-conference schedule. Had some tight games. So they're accustomed to this. This won't be a surprise. Not ideally where you want uh, in your home opener, but uh, they're not afraid and, nor they're unaccustomed to playing these close games. Davis rebounded by Tyler Harris. Wow. Off balance shot there by Chaplin. And then they're going to say McCadden, who stole the ball basically from Hines. Actually, it's Chandler Lawson they're going to call for the foul. That was almost a turnover. That'll be the third against Chandler Lawson, so keep an eye on that. Fresh 20 now for the Bulls. South Florida averages just. Just a tick or two under 70, so they're at a pace to score 92. Open three. Here we and go right again. On the money is Conwell. He's the first non, he's the first starter, I should say, to make a three in this game for the Bulls. There are other five from guys that have come off the bench. Reverse Franklin, no. And here come the Bulls looking to push it with the lead at 49-48. Good rebound by Franklin. 6-3, not afraid to go up and climb that ladder. Have to help with this game rebound. Nice job. McCadden. Those little back cuts. They found him. Yeah, what? He's harping for his team to get back on defense because he knows Memphis lightning quick down the court. Good rebounding. Tigers had four guys that time surrounding the defensive glass. Memphis out rebounding South Florida, 21-19. Lawson, four balls surrounding him, and he scored nonetheless. He has eight points, and Memphis lead back to three. And Tyler Harrison has returned. 0 for 4 from the field, 0 of 1 from 3. Again, if you're a South Florida fan, you want to see Tyler Harris continue to be engaged, even if it's just running the club. Davis will be called for that personal, his second. And quickly, Brian Gregory goes to the bench. Corey Walker Jr., Sorrell Smith, why not bring in Smith? And why not go to the bench? <laughs> exactly. You want to see him light up quickly, pick up where he left off. 16 points in the first half. He averaged three, just over three points on the season. What a game he's had. Williams back in. Franklin to the bench. Well, because of the pace of this game, you got to play some guys. you you, you got to go deep in your bench. you got to play eight, nine guys, if not more. Smith, he is just... Having maybe a career day. He's, he's averaging 3.1 points per game. But coming in, he was 5 of 12 from 3. So he's shot the rock well from the outside, just hasn't taken a lot of shots. Williams, the up and under. And that foul will go against USF, but I don't believe it was in the act. They're going to call that on Conwell. First team foul against the Bulls here on the second half. No, not in the act. So Memphis with the basketball, 20 on the shot clock. There's nobody getting at anything that's not contested. Williams has just two buckets. 
And that one's blocked from behind. Corey Walker blocked it out of bounds off USF. <laughs> Memphis well, 13 seconds on the shot clock. Williams with two made buckets, two free throws, has six. He averages 15 a game. When there is defense in the area, there is no easy shots. Now, there have been some opportunities where guys have lost players. But when they're playing defense, everything's being contested. Nice pass. Good kick from McCadden. Lomax off the mark on that three. Boy, as you mentioned earlier, McCadden is finding a way to just kind of slither through to get underneath the bucket for tip backs and, and, and offensive rebounds. Well, there's so much emphasis up top to deny Memphis dribbling and getting in the paint area. You know, they're, they're spending extra attention and they're losing focus with him. And he's going back door very nicely. And Memphis is, is recognizing that. Foul away from the ball. That'll go against USF. Corey Walker, I think, is who they're going to call. Legal screen against Walker. That'll be his second. So each team with two fouls here in the second half. Tigers clinging to a one-point lead over the Bulls. Williams, good feed to Lomax, who lays it in. How about that? That's your 6-9 forward kicking it inside to your point guard for a bucket. Myth open three. Are you kidding me? What did he have for pregame? Whatever he had, keep doing the same thing. Davis, he's fouled. No question. Body, blocked the shot, but got him with the body. And Kendrick Davis will go to the free throw line when we return. But Sorrell Smith Jr. has been the story of this game. 21 points, 7 of 7 from the field, and USF and Memphis are tied. Harris, well, they have stymied him completely. No points for Tyler Harris. He's their leading scorer at 15.5 points per game. He's only shot the ball four times, once from three. So Memphis doing a great job against Harris, but other guys have really stepped up for Brian Gregory's team. Davis at the free throw line makes the first. Interesting. We, we've had 18 players play in this game, nine for each team. All nine Memphis players who have played have scored. And South Florida's got two players who have played and not scored. So uh, Corey Walker and Tyler Harris, the two for South Florida, they're not scored. McCadden, again, right spot. Always seems to be in the right spot, but misses the putback as Davis has the rare free throw miss. He splits the two, and Memphis goes up again by one. Nearly a great save by Smith. He lands into the cheerleaders, the Memphis cheerleaders. Great effort, but that'll be a turnover for the Bulls, so Memphis will get the basketball leading by one. That will be the 10th turnover against USF, so both Memphis and the Bulls with 10 each. Memphis has dominated when they've gotten the opportunity to get the ball in the paint. Again, that just means that's a higher percentage shot. Most of those have been at the rim. So Memphis has been patient. They've had good looks while they're shooting so well. Davis, three from the corner. Again, McCadden just, you talk about the hustle points. Bryant, the bucket and the bang. Alo fouls me, just blew right by Alex Lomax. Three on one break. Memphis did not get back quickly enough. And South Florida, to their credit, they attacked. And they're going to get a chance for an and one. Bryant taking it strong. Alo not able to get over there. And uh, South Florida with a lead. Double figures now for Bryant with 10 to go along with four rebounds. Alo commits his second personal foul. The Bulls have regained the lead as K.O. will check back in for Memphis, replacing Chandler Lawson. In transition, has been a problem for Memphis. We talked with head coach Penny Hardaway about that uh, at the half. South also, Florida, Demario, Demario Florida, Demario Franklin. Florida's getting it and pushing it up and scoring. Getting well, that time, just beat Memphis back. 20-17, to 17, fast break points in favor of the Bulls. Keontae Kennedy now on the floor, as I mentioned, and also Demari A. Franklin checks in. Missed by Bryant. Remains a one-point lead for South Florida. Bad pass by Lomax. Stolen by Bryant. To Harris. Back to Bryant. Poor pass. Yeah, wild pass there, and Williams has it. Memphis dodged a bullet there. Kennedy. Runner. Doesn't fall. KO the rebound and the putback. Much needed. Good hustle by KO. Memphis First. this time with four guys back. Much better job getting back, even after a made basket. South Florida pushing up down the floor. 
First bucket for KO. He has three. Memphis regains the lead. Miguel in the game. Nice dish to Walker. Can't go, but he taps in the rebound. Good second effort. It's about time for Tyler Harris to find a way to get a shot. He's too good a player and too explosive, and that's what if you're South Florida, you're just waiting on that explosion where he can rattle off four or five in a row. Six lead changes now. Ten on the shot clock for Memphis. Got to get in their offense. Memphis, everything's been perimeter. They're going to have to have put up a tough shot. Good defense by South Florida. Kennedy, step back three, back iron, no. Harris the rebound. Harris is fouled from behind. I think Kennedy got him and K.O. got him. Either one, they're going to call it on Kennedy. Yeah, Kennedy got him from the back. Went right across the arm. Tyler Harris coming right at you. Keontae Kennedy's going to get him from the back right across the arm. K.O. made sure there was no three-point opportunity. Tyler Harris with a chance to get the scoring column. Incredible that we would go almost 27 minutes of play, just a little less than 27 minutes, and Tyler Harris leading score with... His first point. Finally. Well, I can guarantee you this. Harris will trade in zero points, I one agree. points, two points for a W over Memphis any day of the week as Russell Chiwa will check back in. Harris, 2,647 career points at Cordova High School here in Memphis. 12th in Tennessee prep history. He was prolific. And, again, he is a guy, once he gets going, he can rattle off five, six in a row without any hesitation and has no range. No range. He can take it from 30 feet when he gets rolling. Memphis, to their credit, just not allowed him to get on track at this point. Largest lead for the Bulls. Lomax working against Harris, the two Memphians. One and done for Memphis is Bryant skies for the rebound. Boy, who's the higher leaper, KO or Bryant? Harris tried to pack. Wow. Him, and he goes right over KO. Wow. KO wow. gets slammed in the face and he banked it home. Wow. Wow, that's. Tyler Harris. He's not afraid to go amongst the Giants, and that's exactly what he just did. Five-point point lead for the Bulls. There's the big number. Memphis is going to really have to keep their composure here. Poor pass. Watch Another this. turnover for Memphis. Harris. That should up be and a down. turnover, yeah. yeah. That time he made up his mind before he saw what the defense was going to offer. And Brian Gregory's arguing it, but there's no argument here. It was well, he, absolutely a turnover. Yeah, he may be talking about a foul, but he clearly went up and down without yes. getting rid of the ball, and that's that's a turnover. That's a travel. Yeah, and, and, and talk to our audience about the difference between a jump stop and then shooting. Yeah, well, again, I mean, he, he, he's leaving. That's, that's not a jump stop. You know, he's actually going to take a shot. And exactly. Instead, comes right down. 12 you're, turnovers you're, you're, apiece. You're dribbling the ball. You can go up and down right. and then catch the ball and stop. Exactly. Williams worked strong. No, it was partially wow. blocked, I think, I by Bryant. He, but he went through the net to get it, not through it, but hit the net going up. Should have been basket interference? Possibly. I'm not saying he went through the net, but if you hit the net going up. That's a veteran move right there by Tyler as he leaned in and got the call on the foul. And all of a sudden, Memphis with five team fouls. Harris, a great free throw shooter, goes back to the charity strike. And Harris coming in, made sure there was contact. He's going to get to go to the free throw line again. He leaned right into Franklin and got the call. USF, 6-0 run over the last minute and 47 seconds, and Harris will add to it. Memphis has missed six of their last seven shots from the field. They have not scored in the last two minutes and seven seconds. So all of a sudden you look up, Harris got five points to go along with four rebounds and two assists. And he now has a half dozen. Seven point lead. All right, now this is where you got to find your, your, your two scores. Davis and Williams have got to touch the ball. You can still pass it, but they've got to be involved in the offense. Take your time. You're going to get good looks. Davis gets the call there. Contact from Smith. And that'll be the second against Smith and the fourth team foul against South Florida. What a way to open up conference play in the American. A lot of jawing going yeah. on. Officials will get in between that. Smith doing most of the jawing. Well, you wonder if Memphis really knew who he was in the game plan going into this one. Guy averaging three points a game. 
They know now. They certainly do. Boy, South Florida making it tough for Memphis. They finally get the inbounds. Davis working against Harris. This is fun. Good defense by Harris. Davis unable to shake him. Franklin on Bryant. In and out. Memphis will get the basketball back. 12-15 to play here in the second half. If Memphis settles for those fadeaway shots, Penny Hardaway's club settles for those shots, they're, they're, only, they're not getting any offensive boards. They have been very good when they've been patient and get those backdoor cuts, particularly when the defense is extended, trying to deny them getting that paint. Williams, quiet night relatively for him. Kennedy in the lane. No, tip no. Memphis had all kinds of cracks at that one. Instead, here comes USF three on two. It's Smith in and out. Wait to Chihuahua. Another three. Harris. Oh, wow. Wow. And all of a sudden, you look up, he's got nine points. And Memphis is 10 down. They are down double digits in the conference opener against the team that is picked ninth by the coaches, or was picked ninth in the preseason poll out of 11 teams but usf doesn't care one bit the bulls are on fire they've outscored the tigers by 10 in the second half and tyler harris has come alive six made three points that's 18 points from three point line that uh, they've got over memphis the tigers got to extend that defense out and they're going to have to get back on defense williams is foul driving baseline That'll be the sixth team foul against South Florida, and that will go against Russell Chiwa. We have another timeout on the floor here in Memphis. The Tigers trail the Bulls by 10. Memphis in the situation. He said, I think I'll always be good to people in Memphis, and he got that nice round of applause when he was introduced. They know my true heart. I'll be my normal self all out. He's probably brought a lot of that to this USF team, that style. That all-out style. Well, it's been a good fit so far this year for Tyler. Williams, count it, and he's fouled. It's a nice move by Memphis coming out of a timeout. Good execution by Penny Hardaway's club. Basket and one, and they'll have an opportunity to set their defense if he makes the free throw. The defense is where Memphis must hang their hat. It's got to get better extending out and getting back to stop the transition game for South Florida. Williams, an opportunity for a three-point play. That ended a streak of seven straight missed field goals for Memphis. Chaplin will be called for the foul. USF now with 16 fouls. And Memphis at the free throw line. They're a good team. Shooting from the charity stride at 72.4%. The fans are into it. As it gets louder here at the Forum. Seven-point lead for the Bulls. Now, defense is definitely going to be the story. Great feed. Chiwa missed it. Loose ball picked up by Williams. We got a whistle, and it was out of bounds on Chiwa. Yeah, I think he touched the ball while he was out of bounds. So Memphis, good defensive effort there. That's a good stop. Again, come back and look for a high percentage look. This is where you want to try to get some pressure and get it to the rim. That was a great feed to Chiwa. Chiwa still not had a bucket. He's made three free throws. Franklin for three. Side don't of don't, the don't have to have that. That, that's don't have to have that shot Harris and he's fouled oh. by Franklin. He'll shoot three free throws That, that is a big the, the three that goes off the side of the backboard for Memphis at one end and then you foul Harris at the other end Just just enough to lean into him Not much contact but Harris uh, a veteran all he's got to do is have you close and there was enough contact. Third foul on Franklin. Now again, this is where you got to have some leadership in terms of Memphis at the offensive end, knowing who needs to get the ball and where those shots need to come. They've been outstanding when they've been patient and gotten the ball inside. That's when they've had the obviously the most advantage and taken opportunities to, to convert. Harris now five of five from the charity stripe. We'll get two more. 
Bulls 12 of 16. They've been to the line more times than Memphis, which is a rarity for a Memphis opponent this year. One more for Harris. Keontae Kennedy will check in for Damari A. Franklin. Also, Keyshawn Bryant, who's been sensational, he will <laughs> check in for the Bulls. Alex Lomax just quietly talking to Tyler Harris back at the free throw line. He's chuckling a little bit. They know one another well. They sure do. I don't think anything rattles Harris. No, not, not particularly not to stage his career. Makes all three. Lead back to ten. And there's nothing sweeter than coming back home and playing well. And Memphis did some great damage in conference play. This would be a bad, bad loss. Williams misses. And Harris travels. Really never had control of the rock, and he'll turn it over. That will be the 14th for the Bulls. They average just under 12. Now, again, if you're Memphis, plenty of time. That's, that's the one thing you also got to realize. You don't have to force shots if you're not there. 10-26, that's plenty of opportunities. That's plenty of possessions. But you, you, you got to use them correctly. And, again, putting pressure. You know, ne next uh, foul puts Memphis in, in some type of free throw shooting for the balance of the game. 16 fouls right now in South Florida. That means the shot, that means the clock will be stopped. So you want to try to get to the rim if you can. Williams over Chiwa. A little jump hook by DeAndre. Full court press now for Memphis. They're going to really try to turn up the pressure. This is where if you're South Florida, keep it in the middle of the floor, not down the alleys, as Coach talked to them at great length about. Max the steal. Just came over and swiped it from Bryant. Kennedy, make it McCadden in and out. Again, a shot. You just take it to the rim. Bulls have the numbers. Three on one. Harris thought about it. Now he's going to be smart move by Tyler very Harris. Smart. Yep. Didn't have to. Intelligent. Just backed it out. Good recognition by Tyler Harris. He wanted to, but I think he made the right decision. He was six nine. DeAndre <laughs> Williams guarding five nine. Tyler Harris. Tough shot. It goes. Wow. Selton Miguel, his third bucket. He has six. Got the kind bounce, and it's a ten point lead again. Take it straight to the rim. Williams, there you good go. Feed the low max, the cutting a low. Smart. Again, very crisp, very efficient. Tigers did not employ their full court pressure that time. I think the coaching staff wanted them to. A low matches Williams 11. The only Tigers in double figure scoring. That, that, that shot wasn't necessary now by Miguel. Miguel thought he got fouled, but no call from the officials. Davis got bumped there. He did. A lot of contact, he did. and there's a the call. And the clock stops. And that's the kind of possession you're looking for. Good free throw shooter, and the clock stops. And again, he's in the act, but that's seven, and you just pointed that out. South Florida with 17 fouls, but Memphis has six. Kendrick Davis, there's the foul right there. Bam. Good decision. Again, that's experience, making sure there's contact. Kendrick with nine points tonight, seven assists. This is where he's been so good at the free throw line, particularly as the game winds down. Third Tiger in double figure scoring now has 10. He's six of seven from the free throw line. Just under 90% from the free throw line on the season. Sam Hines Jr. back in the game for USF. Davis is going to handle the ball a lot as the game winds down, so you want a good free throw shooter. He's going to get fouled a lot. And wow. I, I killed it. Announcers Jinx did it. He missed two of his last three. And that is a rarity. Now, if you're Memphis, you, you got to stop one shot per possession. Cannot allow offensive boards. Near travel. Wow. Hines got it over Kennedy. It did look like he shuffled his feet. Just enough. He looked like he dragged it a little bit. But give South Florida credit. That's a much-needed basket. Not allowing Memphis to make up much ground. Hines now at nine. Brian Gregory's team's getting contributions from everybody. Yes. Williams is banged. Smart. Tried again. to split the defense. He'll go to the free throw line. He's going to be quick enough, and he's got the size. 6'9", he can put it on the floor. He can shoot over guys. He's going to be a little quicker than uh, Chiwa. This is the guy you want in the ball, DeAndre Williams. Splits the, the two. Didn't get the and one, but he'll get two free throws. Now you got to make them. Got to make him when you go to the free throw line. Memphis 11 of 15 on the night. Chiwa with his third. So Chiwa and Hines Jr. each have three for USF. Chandler Lawson and Demarie Franklin three for Memphis. 
Mm. This is the first. 8.20 to play. Memphis down nine. Largest lead for the Bulls, 10. Largest lead for the Tigers, nine. Coach Hardaway. Troubling, frustrating night, but still can end this thing with a W. Just need to get it going here. Nice little run for the Tigers, but it hasn't happened to this point. Williams makes the second. Doesn't now for DeAndre. And again, not... A little bit of pressure, John, but not the full They're, pressure look, they're looking for the trap. They're looking for the trap if they can. Good job by South Florida avoiding it. Kept keeping the dribble alive, getting in the middle of the floor. Nice job breaking the Tiger pressure. Again, something that Brian Gregory's team worked on at shoot-around today. Memphis was 16 fouls, so they don't have any to give either. Whistle away from the play, and an offensive foul will be called against Chiwa, and that will be his fourth. So that's a big one right there for the seven-footer. 7.57 remaining in the second half. Memphis on the brink. They trail USF by eight. Percentage shots, getting to the rim, getting in the paint. You've got an 18-point advantage in that paint area, but that also allows you to set that defense. You want to make baskets to set your defense. Gave you these numbers earlier. Over the last seven wins for South Florida, they averaged 75.6 points. They're at 74 and they average 15.7 assists, and they're at 12. These are good numbers, usually mean good news for South Florida. Got a whistle, and there's a wet spot. Wet. Yeah, right in front of the Tiger bench. We'll take care of that. Davis stepped right in it. South Florida, their credit, nothing really available. Memphis having to burn a lot of time. So we really want to see if you can get to that rim or quick passes. They've done a good job where they've got somebody in the middle. Defense comes up. Give them attention. Somebody's breaking on the baseline for an easy basket. The other story within the big story is three-point shooting. Wow. South Florida is 8 of 17. Memphis is 2 of 10. And here's their 11th attempt. Just not, Memphis doesn't have to settle for that. And that has not been a strong suit for them. Shots open. It's been available all night. Smith, can he hit another one? His two misses have gone in and out, John. Offensive rebound again. Good job by South Florida. Just actually just getting in the 50-50 balls. They're coming up with them. Harris down the lane. A lot of contact, and Harris will go to the free throw line. He is forcing his will on his old team here in the second half. Well, he made up his mind he was going to attack, make sure there was contact. And you Give see those credit. leadership skills yep. out there as well. He's locked in. Mentioned that to you in the pregame warm-ups. I was watching Harris. It wasn't big old smiles and shaking hands with everybody. He was focused. It's a business trip. Happy to see family. He's got a lot of family and friends here in the game. As you mentioned, well-received ovation when he was introduced as a starter. Harris now a perfect 8 for 8 from the free throw line. Chandler Lawson will check in for Keontae Kennedy. Kendrick Davis, just two of seven from the field. Coming into the game was seven of 23 over his last two from the field. So continues to struggle with the outside shooting or the shooting just in general. Lead back to 10. Seven and change to play. This would be a shocker. Zone now. South Florida gonna make Memphis shoot a little bit from the outside. And again, why not when they're two for 11? They're not a good three-point shooting team. Davis, oh, he gets one there for Memphis. Needed, and again, they get a chance to set that defense. Still plenty of time for Memphis. Kendrick just 28% from beyond the arc makes the three. Inside move, in and out. Rebound by Chandler Lawson. One and done for the Bulls on that trip. Under control, don't have to do anything. If it's not available, good decision. Oh, got a back move. Lawson was close. Nice move by Williams DeAndre the Williams. Everything but the basket. That, that's the kind of shot they want to see. Puts a lot of pressure on the defense. Williams 4 of 12 from the field. Well, lucky he didn't get a call for a foul. That one won't go. Lomax behind the defense gets fouled. Fouled by Harris. So Alo will, will go to the free throw line. It's 77.8%. Well, that time Memphis turned the tables. They beat South Florida down the floor. Good push by Memphis. Get to the rim. Halo realizes there's no backside help. 
It's right by Tyler Harris, who's got a foul him. Otherwise, he's going to give up an easy two. Memphis with a chance to get this thing back to a two-possession game if he makes both these free throws. Harris, by the way, with his third personal. Next South Florida foul puts Memphis in the double bonus. They'll shoot two from here on out. Seven for Memphis. So Lomax with one more. 6.05, still time to go, but it is an uncomfortable, uneasy feeling here if you're a Memphis Tiger enthusiast in the FedEx Forum. Lomax splits the two, now has 12. And you have to credit South Florida with uh, distributing that uneasy Stolen feeling. Davis behind the defense. And good defense turns into instant offense. Here you go. Alo almost comes up with another one. Memphis putting a little pressure. They pulled back to within four. Good defense by DeAndre Williams. Harris in the lane. Up and good. Wow. That's Tyler a tough Harris shot. Has 16 points all in the second half. And a foul. That'll be called against Chihuahua. That will be his fourth. And Memphis shoots two the rest of the way. Double bonus. Now, you're going to have to start making these free throws. Memphis cannot afford to be going one for two on these trips. Memphis is 13 of 19 from the free throw line compared to 16 of 20 for the Bulls. Davis now seven of nine from the charity strike. Corey Walker Jr. will check in for Chiwa, who has those four fouls. Seven rebounds, just three points. Well, been a good 24 hours for sporting events in the Bluff City. Hey, Tight games, excitement. Right? Yep. A lot of fun. Fans on their feet here. Pressure by Memphis. Harris. Good defense. Don't leave your feet. Now, Memphis doesn't want to foul at this point. Can't foul. A lot of contact there. Hines Tough pulls shot. up. Got it. Big shot. Big shot that time by Sam Hines Jr. Veteran move. 11 now for Sam Hines Jr. USF has answered both times. And the lead stays at six, and then Memphis turns it over for a 14th time. That's right at their average. Still plenty of time, 4.51 to play. High-scoring affair here in the conference opener for Memphis and South Florida. <laughs> Lomax is just draped all over Tyler Harris. <laughs> Wonderful to see that <laughs> matchup, isn't it? Boy, Lomax gave him credit from behind. He might have altered that shot or gotten a little piece of it. But a second chance opportunity now for the Bulls. Harris says, get out of my way, working against the taller Williams. And Williams clobbered him. There's no question he fouled him. He doesn't think so. But Williams commits what will be his second. So he's done a good job in not piling up the fouls. Watch him right here. Boom. There, yep. The problem is, again, when you send Harris, when you send Davis to the free throw line, you're in trouble because they make a large portion of their free throws. Harris, a perfect nine of nine. What a second half. How long do you think he's been thinking about this game? For a while. Again, when you return home, it, most time it's either or. It's either really good or really bad. He's seen both. First in and half, out. tough. Second in and half, out. First good. miss. He had made 10 straight from the free throw line. Seven point game. Lomax working against Harris, and Harris called for the foul, the block. And that's Alo maybe doing a little bit too much there. Penny was not happy with that, working one on one against Harris. And that may be that friendly rivalry there. Let's take a look. Harris not quite there. That's close. I don't think he established legal guarding position before the contact occurs. But you're right. Again, you really want the ball in Davis, see him's hand. Now, they'll pass the ball. 
they're, they are willing, you know, distributors if they need to. Lomax makes the first. In the meantime, here comes that guy, Sorrell Smith Jr. And Tyler Harris will come out. They'll do a lot of offensive defensive switching because Harris now has four fouls. So one more for Lomax. Has 13 well, points, well, five if assists. If you're Memphis, you really want to get Harris out of there, not just because of the scoring potential. Good free throw shooter, but also he's going to handle the ball. At 5'9", he's very difficult to steal from. Very good uh, with the dribble. Five points, South Florida lead as we approach four to play. Memphis really looking for a double team. So we really got to be careful, not selling out too much to give up an easy backdoor play. Tough shot. That, that, that's ill advised. That, that's not the shot you want to see, Brian Green. You can get that shot anytime you want. Big possession here for Memphis. Davis picks up that dribble, goes behind the back. Lawson, jump hook, he banked it home. Three point game. Chandler Memphis. Lawson with 10, and it's a three point game, as John mentioned. More pressure from Memphis. Don't, want to, don't have to foul here. This way, got to be real careful. Timeout. Time Timeout was called. Timeout yeah, time was. was called by Brian Gregory. We'll take one as well. 3:30 remaining in regulation. South Florida. They had the lead to 10. It's now three. Back in. There's only one possession down. This is where you can't foul or gamble. Just outright right now, where you give up an easy basket or two, or two free throws. A lot of the stats are, are pretty even. Both teams shooting 47% from the field, but the two differences, three-point shooting, it's plus 15 for USF. But Memphis has outscored the Bulls 50 to 30 in the paint. So keep going inside, right, John? Well, you want to also keep you in good rebounding position. Those are high percentage shots. And in Memphis, once the shot clock gets down inside 10, you cannot foul. You can't allow South Florida to run clock off and then bail them out with a foul. South Florida, just take your time. Good job behind. Wow. Good job by Memphis not reaching out and committing a foul there. Williams for three. And that McCadden, foul is going to go good, against Smith, I believe. Yeah, McCadden, good job getting to the board. Smith, 21 points. <laughs> uh, been quiet here. Second half, Ryan Gregory wanted that uh, ball to go the other way. McCadden once again just gets inside. into position, See, doesn't he? He's inside now. Yeah. Watch, he's inside. The contact occurs. That's got to go on Smith. Good call by the official. Free throw so important. 304. Uh, plenty of time for both teams. Again, if you're South Florida, you could be selective. You don't have to force a shot. Just what they worked on their press break today. They spent a lot of time with their press break today, making sure that they had diagonal cuts, kept it out of the alleys. What Coach. Uh, Gregory calls the alleys. That's the sideline. Those are natural uh, trapping areas. And it doesn't allow Memphis uh, to keep it in the middle to, to employ that run and jump trap. Miguel Chiwa and Bryant check back in for Brian Gregory's team. McCadden, who's just 50% from the free throw line on the season, Big. splits the two. And that lets you set your defense. Keep talking about that, but that's where ooh, almost a walk there by Tyler Harris. Almost got going too quickly. 10.6 rebounds now from McCadden. Got his second straight start today. Two-point game. We've had six lead changes. Right. Four times the game has been tied. All right, shot clock now inside 10. You cannot foul if you're Memphis. Miguel working against Lawson, throws it up. Chiwa got the offensive rebound. It's knocked out of bounds off his hand. She was size, which is too much for DeAndre Williams that time. He just rode him right out in yeah. legal play. Yeah. Just smart positioning, good uh, footwork by Chiwa. Yeah, Williams knocking it out of bounds. So 19 on the shot clock now. 2.35 to go in the game. Chaplin drives, strong drive. Wow. They have had a number of those in and outs here in the second half. Lomax, Davis for the lead. Yes! Wow. Kendrick Davis has hit his last two threes. Plenty of time now for South Florida. No reason to panic. Don't have to force the shot. Take your time. Stolen. Lawson gets fouled by Miguel. And he'll go to the free throw line. Great defense there. They get the turnover. And that Absolutely. is turnover number 19 for South Florida. Again, South Florida, just keep your composure. you got plenty of time. 205. 
Memphis has been on this end of it for most of the last 15 minutes. And now South Florida. Time to make all kind of plays. Don't have to force a shot. They've been very effective when they've decided to get to the rim. And now Memphis once again is going to go to the free throw line where they desperately need to convert. 18 of 25 from the free throw line at this point. So uh, it's been... Uh, <laughs> It's been a heck of a conference opener. Lawson is just 47.6% on the season. Two here. Ouch. Can't make the first. Memphis is on an 8-0 run over the last two minutes and eight seconds to grab a one-point lead. All right. This is where you really want to see. Again, there's the big uh, three by Davis to give Memphis the lead. There you go. Now. South Florida, press break once again, trying to get that ball to the middle of the floor. They've got diagonal cuts. And if you're Memphis, let somebody other than Tyler Harris handle the ball. Eighteen fouls on the Tigers. Davis steals it. Stolen from Chaplin. Davis lays it up, lays it in. Timeout. Timeout for South Florida. Outstanding defensive play by Kendrick Davis. We talk about his offense all the time. But what a defensive play that time by Davis and the Tigers, and the crowd appreciates it. John, it's almost like Memphis just took that switch and they put it to 10. A minute 53. That's multiple possessions. So no time to panic. They can't gamble or, or put up crazy, uh, you know, unadvised shots at this point either. They got time. Harris, Chiwa on the floor with four fouls. No Tiger has more than three. Now Lomax is going to have to do what he does so well, defense. Good job. Memphis forces the ball away from Tyler Harris. So he really wanted to deny the return pass to Harris, and that's exactly what Lomax is doing. Shot clock inside 10 now. No foul if you're Memphis. Harris nearly had it stripped by Lomax. Five on the shot clock. Three plus. Somebody's open. Wow. Oh, another big time steal. Two on one, Davis, Williams, big time jam. And another assist for Davis to give him nine. Defense is just outstanding right now for Memphis. And they just turned up the switch all of a sudden over the last three minutes. Memphis by six. The answer, no, three-pointer off the mark by Bryant. A second opportunity here for USF. They lose the ball. Chiwa gets it back. In traffic. Another opportunity. Jump hook by Chiwa won't go. And Chandler Lawson gets the rebound under a minute to play. Memphis will take their time. South Florida's got to come get him. They can't, they can't sit back, not at this point. They got to come foul. You don't want to foul. Look at, look at Brian Gray. He's all the way out on the floor. Williams. And a foul before the shot. Either way, it's two free throws for Memphis. They didn't want to foul Davis, but the time was running out on them. Yep. No, they had a choice. Again, they, they didn't extend the defense. They're now in scramble mode. Now we've changed. They're, they're six down, two possessions. South Florida now has got to engage Memphis wherever. they gotta, they got to gamble. If they don't come up with it, they got to foul quickly. John, very interesting. Last couple of minutes for Brian Gregory. Sorrell Smith Jr. not on the floor, and he's been one of the big stories in this game with 21 points to lead all scores. Actually, now... Davis with 22 is your leading scorer in the game as Williams makes the free throw. That's big now. That turns into a three-possession game unless you get an and one on the three-point shot. So I think theoretically we're still two possessions, but Memphis starting to give them a little breathing room. That has not been a luxury they've had in this game. Williams 15 points, six rebounds, four assists. Can make the second, but Memphis still has a seven-point lead. And as you mentioned, John, three possessions. Don't want to foul here. You can't stop that clock. They won't let Harris get the shot off. Instead, it's a three off the mark by Chaplin, but the putback is good. And Brian Gregory will call a timeout. That's so 18.7 seconds remaining, Memphis by five. That time, great offensive rebounding position by Bryant. Big time. Bryant's been spectacular. They also may have this play where you have a guy step out of bounds. It's made basket at the other end, so we'll see. Showing Jarvis Greer on the big screen from Action News 5. One more show for him tomorrow night. Trying to really deny Lomax getting the ball. Everybody's standing in the arena. It has been one of those nights 
Good job. Right to right, right into the Lomax. Lomax. Yep. Foul committed by Ryan Conwell. And for South Florida, uh, very l less than one second goes off the clock. So Memphis uh, in the double bonus. So they'll get a chance for a couple of free throws. This yeah. will be the 30th and 31st free throw shot tonight by Memphis. Well, I talked at one point about Memphis's non-conference schedule being challenging. They've been in tough games. They've been in close games. And uh, it's, it's not ideal. This is not the way they want to have their conference opener start. But they have answered the challenge, the adversity, to this point. Lomax to the free throw line. He's at 3 of 4, 14 points on the night. And that's number 15. South Solid. Florida returns home to Tampa for their second conference game. Memphis will be in New Orleans to usher in the new year. They'll play on Sunday, New Year's Day. R regardless of the outcome, South Florida is going to be a tough out. <laughs> they, they have some pieces together, and I have seen tremendous upside for uh, the South Florida Bulls tonight. They really get after you athletically. Again, this game may not go their way, which would be really disheartening, but uh, they have competed and competed well here on the road in the, the conference opener for both teams. Coach Hardaway will call a 30-second timeout to set up his defense. Actually, it'll be one. I thought to myself, this is going to be tough for Memphis to come back. But as you said, there was plenty of time. And if you let the defense dictate the offense, you were going to be in good shape. Near turnover. Memphis almost comes up with a turnover. That's that's pretty aggressive defense. I don't think you want to foul at all at this point. But they almost forced an errant inbounds pass. A couple of ticks run off. Conwell takes Can't, it over half court. Just don't want to foul. That's all you don't want to do. Live with those. Even if they go in, you just gonna does. Have, let, let the shot, let, let the clock go. Something Get it in quickly. Miguel. Big basket by Miguel. Four-point lead for Memphis. Just got to get it in. Clock started. DeAndre has got to realize they're not waiting on him. A lot of times you will. Uh, he got it into Davis, and Davis lot, will go to the free throw line. A lot line. of times you'll wait for the official to hand you the ball. That time it was, he put it on the floor, and the mm -hmm. official did not pick it up. DeAndre Williams, to his credit, recognized that the, that the, the count was on. Right. You got five seconds. You, now, you can as long as you release the ball prior to the five-second count, doesn't matter how long it takes for, to get in, but it's got to be released for five seconds. And once again, Memphis with a four-point lead, 9.4 to go. Chance to get it back a uh, little breathing room. Could work it to two threes if they can make the second end uh, uh, of this double bonus. Five-point advantage for Memphis. Davis now adds to his total 23 points. He's 9 of 11 from the free throw line. It has been a hard fought battle all night long, but especially here in the second half as South Florida had taken over, grabbed the 10 point lead. No and foul. Then Memphis comes back strong. That's a three. That's off the mark. Williams gets the loose ball. He's fouled. That's it. Wow. And they're going to say two free throws, but this game is over for all intents and purposes. And they got to play it out officially. And Kendrick Davis is orchestrating the fans to get up, get loud, get rowdy. And Williams will go to the free throw line. Memphis gets 28 from Kendrick Davis to go along with nine assists. But they got contributions from everybody. Alex Lomax, 16 points, six assists, a couple of rebounds, and DeAndre Williams is trying to add to his 15-point total. They're going to take Tyler Harris out of the game. He waves to the crowd. They wave back. What a second half yep. for Tyler Harris. That was his fifth foul, by the way, so he fouls out of the game officially. Yeah, yeah great effort. Take it out. Yeah. And well-deserved. The fans appreciate him. He, he is uh, the Memphis product and... Uh, had a heck of a second half. Again, a tough first half. To his credit, he hung around, didn't put his head down, and um, he was uh, a force to be reckoned with here in the second half. Williams to add one more point. Unable to do so. And Memphis will win this one 93-86. to As the Tigers improve to 11-3, they win their conference opener. They improve to